All right, guys, it's the same day, just a little bit later. I've been kind of tinkering around the 240 a little bit. I did get some stuff figured out. Um, the reason most of the stuff inside wasn't working is the main fuse was messed up. I just stuck a screwdriver down in there, you know, <laughs> just test theory. But the windows, the brake lights, all that stuff works. Sunroof was working, and then it stopped working in the open position. Yeah, told you I had bad luck. But anyway, uh, as you can tell, this thing is extremely dirty. You know, it's like a pretty sure video doesn't do it any justice. To say this guy was a smoker would be an understatement. Like that's all like cigarette ash. It's craziness. But we're gonna get this thing cleaned up, get all the trash out of it, vacuum it out and all that good stuff. And uh, choose that factory. Yeah, just try to, Try to get this thing back in somewhat decent of shape. <clears throat> but I know the majority of people on my social media is like, oh great, another LS swap. Okay, whatever. Sorry, I like LSs. Forgive me. But that's probably not gonna be the case. Um it might happen. <laughs> but if I'm being honest, I would honestly like to get the ka sorted you know put new bearings in it whatever and like maybe try a ka turbo because it was really popular back in the day and i always wanted one but you know i didn't have the money so that would be neat to try and also i would really like to find like uh just an na2j put in here i think that'd be kind of cool too with a small turbo or something like nothing nothing crazy you know 300 ish horsepower i think this would be a really fun car but at, at the moment, I've definitely made my mind up that I'm going to keep it. Because it is definitely in rough shape. But up under this car, there's like no rust. It seems like it's a very solid car. It is just a, what, 16-year-old um, Nissan with 200,000 miles on it? I don't think that math is right. But like I said, it just needs a, it needs some, she needs some love. But yeah. So. I'm going to try to get the sunroof to close and then vacuum it out and we're going to wash this thing and I'll heat up some of these dents and try to pop them out. I said just try to make it look a little more presentable because this thing is a freaking wreck. And uh, yeah, we're just going to start with there, right there and get some stuff done. So let's get to it. I'm just saying this dude, uh, his smoking game was like next level. Look at that. Holy cow. Just why, man? Oh, man. I think I'm going to get cancer just from breathing the air in here. Goodness. I'm saying, video really doesn't do a dirty car justice. Like, you, you have to see that in person. That is like... That's crazy. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, I really didn't want to get into deep cleaning this thing, but I mean, I just, I don't know, man. I pulled the seat out just so I could vacuum out from under it, because that's just disgusting. All right, guys. To say this carpet is dead would be an understatement. I mean, you just hole there, hole there. It's extremely nasty. But like I said, we got uh majority of the junk vacuumed out of here. So... Dun, dun, dun. And this side, it's almost like rubber mat. It's so disgusting and dirty. Big hole back there. Don't know what that is. I thought it was like puke or something, but it's actually some kind of glue. So, pretty gross still. But, we are making some decent progress. I got the seats out. I'm about to spray these bad boys off as well. Yeah, here comes the part where I pressure wash inside and out. Well, not all the inside, but like inside the door jam, stuff like that. Engine bay, the rear trunk, I'll probably spray it out. <sighs> not gonna hurt anything. 
it's a beautiful day outside um, we'll get everything uh, sprayed and cleaned and sit her in the sun and let it dry out and while it's in the sun we'll try to do some because I mean I don't think this dent is that bad I think I can kind of heat this up and pop it out not that it really matters but I'd like not to blow all the paint off of that thing if I can avoid it and uh yeah once we get it cleaned up and then we can kind of assess the damage of the engine I'm not gonna pull the engine out of this thing right now because I have a lot of projects going on right now at the moment and the last thing I need is like one more car and a million pieces in my yard so yeah all right let me go get the pressure ah. let me go get the pressure washer set up real quick get this thing shiny all right that's the first round of cleaning door jams are looking pretty good not perfect um got a little overspray from the water inside but it's no big deal carpet's trashed anyway even if the carpet was good it wouldn't hurt it just vacuuming out got the back all sprayed out yet again not perfect but a whole lot better than what it is like all through here the pressure washer you know it's got all that crud and stuff that's been sitting forever gas door shut right now so i can't show you that but it is clean or cleaner So this, like this carpet's trashed. I'm unsure if I want to like wash the seats. Yes, they are extremely filthy, but if I pressure wash these things, they're going to take forever to dry. And I don't want them sitting out, so. But yeah, they're pretty disgusting. All right, I'm gonna vac vacuum this thing out one more time and then decide if I want to try to clean those seats or not. I probably will. I'm gonna move the Montego RX-7 up um, and get these two side by side. Um, give them a good exterior wash because they both need it and um, go from there. Hmm. All right, guys. Um, probably shouldn't be driving this thing knowing that it has like a bad bearing but it doesn't really matter because I know the engine has got to come out anyway it's not perfect but it's definitely cleaned up a whole lot um, to where it's actually livable door panels are still screwed and I can't get the sunroof to come to uh, close again But, you know, what can you expect? <laughs> I think it definitely has potential, though. Maybe rebuild the bottom end. Throw some coilovers on this thing. Maybe do something with the paint. They should be alright. But, I'm not going to do too much work on this. Because on the next video I'm going to explain to you what we got to do to pay for this thing <laughs> but that's pretty much it like I said I'm kind of pumped I've always wanted one of these things and uh, good deal or not I'm glad I got one so and this one being like very rust free I'm happy for that because a lot of them I've seen they have like rocker rust and like trunk will be rusted out and this thing right here is like spotless like I'll well up under <laughs> structurally where it counts she's got it but yeah be something fun for the future but yeah that's gonna be it for this thing um i'll see you guys on the next video and uh we'll get started on um the plans for the other cars all right guys like always appreciate you for watching sticking around sharing subscribing all that good stuff and we'll see you on the next one